camera is so far off that you couldn't see me in the beginning. That's because I'm trying not to get this area in the video because that looks really bad. Um, so you get a better view of these wonderful pops. Um, and also because there was a little bit of an intro there. That is my first intro I'm testing out. Please comment down below if you like the intro or if you think it needs repairs. If you just think it's plain not good. If you want to see more, if you don't, please tell me in the comments below for next week's video. Thank you. So today, as you read by the title, it's Turtle Tuesday, baby! That's right. If you watch about the pop, which you most likely do, you're getting two Turtle Tuesdays. My Turtle Tuesday and their Turtle Tuesday. So for my Turtle Tuesday, I figured this is going to be when I start out collecting Turtle Pops. Now I have already. Um, and... Just a notification here. I'm a big fan of the Turtles, but the funny thing is, I've never read a comic, and I've never watched a show. I haven't even played with their toys. I just love them. I don't know why. I see a lot of reviews for stuff, and I see a lot of clips for stuff, so I think I piece things together. I don't know. But I still love them somehow. Actually, I just remembered. I grew up with, oh, what was it? I think it was Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was a Nickelodeon. If you guys heard that, I am so sorry. Um, anyway, I grew up with Rise of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I think, on Nickelodeon. Because um, I think this was happening around 2012, which is when I would have been, or, like, ready to watch those cartoons. So, anyway. So, I only have four things for Turtles right now. But, um, I'm planning to get Michelangelo soon. And I'm thinking about getting Mikey and a pop, which I'll mention later on in the video, um, that I have here to be signed by Kevin Eastman, one of the creators of the Turtles, along with Peter Laird, but I believe he is passed away, and even then I really want Eastman signature. No offense to Laird, whether you be up in the sky or right there. Anyway, um, I'm trying to figure that out. I will see, keep you guys posted when I can get that done, because I'm really hoping to get that done. Um, so we'll start out with sodas. Now these are two sodas I picked up from What the Pops. First, so soda live stream, which is coincidentally their first live stream. So this one is one of the classic turtle villains, Bebop. See him right there with purple hair, mohawk. Um, and what I see is an ammo shell, and he has a very grim depiction of turtle shells on him. Which, if you think about it, that's very dark, considering he's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villain. So, yeah. Hmm. Yipes. That is pretty, pretty dark. Okay. So, sorry if this is rushed, guys. Um, next, we have, who I'm now realizing is Two Toad. Um, the turtle I most want a pop for. Like, not a pop for a pop. I want to get his pop. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that, guys. I told my mind just like blacked out there. <laughs> um, anyway, this is Michelangelo. By the way, both of these are the comments if you didn't already know. I don't plan on like scouring for the chases and stuff. Because for the turtles, especially, they're just going in the dark. I don't need that. I don't need that for like a full turtle collection to have all of these. I just find that a little excessive, I guess. Well, it's not excessive, of course, but... It's just, I have so many things I'm collecting, like if you saw in the intro. I mainly collect certain things for Disney. Ad icons, um... And Dragon Ball, I'm trying to... Th and Deadpool, so those are the main things I collect. Um, I don't really collect sodas or TM... Well, I do collect TMNT hard. That's also, but... I didn't have enough to put in there. Anyway, so rather guys, so basically, I'm not really planning on getting any of their chases. Like, if I get out of sealed can, that's great, but I don't plan on, like, scouring for those chases. If you collect the icons, you'll completely understand why I can't go for those. <laughs> anyway, 
So now we have the two pops. Number 19 and number 73. Now if you know Turtles Pops, you know what I'm talking about. But we'll start with the number 19, Mr. Raphael. My... Here's the thing. So let me just explain this to you. I like all the turtles except for Leo. Leo's the leader. He's kind of a jerk sometimes. To quote, actually, I believe him from the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. By the way, great production. Helped by Jim Henson Puppetry. For I believe one and two. And then three. Um, we don't talk about three. How about that? Yeah, let's just say that. Because the quality went a little downwards. Anyway, um, this is Raph, who I'm going to call the muscle. And he actually has what the base color was for the turtle's bandanas, or masks. I don't know what you call them. I really don't know the, I know the terminology, but I don't understand, if you get what I mean. They're, um, these things. Um, they originally were all red, but then they, I believe, I'm trying to think, I don't know if it was all in the original cartoon they did that, or if it was in season one. I know at some point in the beginning they were animated like that. I think in the comics, in the original cartoon, season one they did that, and then they changed it up for season two. Um, so here is Leo. Like, Raph, please don't get on me, Turtles fans. Yeah. Anyway, um, this is a really cool pop. It definitely helps represent him. It fits perfectly, honestly, for him. He has a size, a little bamboo size, actually. Um, and it's honestly a great figure. Very happy to have this one in my collection. Great turtle. This is actually my first turtle pop at all. Um, of course, it was a one-two punch with the other pop here. Well, not of course, but it was a one-two pop, pop, pop punch. It was a one-two punch with these pops. Um, like I got one and then I got the other. Like I got one at a Walmart and I got the other one at. Hmm. Well, you'll see in a second. Because I got this pop, number 73, in the Retro Toys line at Target. And I think it was on release day. Because that's right, folks. I got Splinter. That is right. My second Turtles pop was Splinter, Target exclusive. Now, also for these, I don't think I'm going to go after the original pops. Mikey, maybe. Okay, I'm not going to go after Splinter, Leo, Donnie, and Raph. Okay, I just think they're really expensive. I might at some point, okay? I just, I don't know how to, like, focus my collection because there's so many things I like. That's all I can say. When you, it's just hard for me. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, what I'm planning to do is to get all of the pops from the original Rector Toys. All of these Rector Toys pops and at least all of the commons for the sodas. I want to get at least one of each soda, whether it be common or cheese. Okay. I'm also again playing. This is the pop, by the way, that I'm planning to get signed by Kevin Eastman once I'm able to. Probably I'll have to go to a signing event, take Mikey and him once I get Mikey, of course. Um, and bring twenty dollars, cause from what I've heard before, he is free for the first signature and twenty for the next, which isn't bad, honestly, because most events charge you a hundred dollars. For three hundred dollars, just to get up to be signed to get a signed thing. So here is sp 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 Splinter, Splinter, with his little cane staff, bow staff type thing. Um, and by the way, guys, tell me what you think of all of these amazing pops I have set up here. Ooh. Anyway, um, here's Splinter. He actually looks pretty... I think this one's more similar to the toys, I believe. I watched what the Pops Turtle Tuesday on the Splinters, and I think I saw one of these. So, this one is definitely cool. I... I don't... I'm pretty sure... 
yeah, this one resembles the toys more because they already made the animation turtles, which I also find a little odd when they make both. But fun fact toy shows like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and let's think He-Man, I believe is another one. Um, they were made just to sell the comics in the taste of the turtles slash the toys or just the toys. The toys were actually, fun fact, um, for all you Turtles fans out there, the toys were made and then episodes were based around them. So when the toys came out, their brand new Saturday morning cartoon would come out and they would fight, I don't know, Leatherhead. I mean, no, Leatherhead would help them. They would fight Krang or Baxter Stockman or some someone, I don't know. They'll, they would fight somebody. And then the kids would rush to their local toy stores, and sure enough, if they're not sold out already from all the other kids running to get them, their toys were there for them to pick up. Good marketing strategy, I'd say, and we got a beloved cartoon series out of it. But anyway, guys, that's all for today. Remember to tell me, how do you like the intro? Good, bad, ugly? I don't know. Remember, you have to tell me. Be honest in the comments, okay? Make sure to like... Make sure that you comment, and make sure that you subscribe. By the way, if you totally forgot, we do have stickers. So again, comment below if you want one. Um, I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Where we could exchange Twitters or emails or something. So I could get this to you. Okay? Um, with the pop, please do not bother, as there's a little fan mail coming in. Stay tuned on with the Pops channel. In a month from this video's posting, it should be... It should do it. I don't know. Sorry about that ending, guys. <laughs> anyway, make sure to like, to comment, subscribe. It's Turtle Tuesday, baby! And there will be many more to come as soon as they get more turtles. And thank you, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. See you!